and welcome today we are going to do a challenging song and i want you to try and play as many of the chords as possible if you've been with me a little while you know that my teaching style is to do something easy and then something a little bit more challenging and then something crazy challenging and then we bring it back down to easy so today we're up here but nobody grows in their comfort zone right so that's why we have to challenge ourselves with songs like this one promise me you're going to try your best and make it to the end. We have four beats of A minor seven. You can play it that way or you can play it with the middle and the pinky or middle and ring. That's uncomfortable for me though. These are uncomfortable for me. Or just open. Then we go to D minor seven. So on that chord change, I think you should focus on just getting to D minor and then adjust the pinky and it will sound beautiful. From there, leave your index finger where it's at and go to G7. Keep your hand up here at all times. Once you're at G7, just lift these two so that you end up at C major seven. Super easy, right? So just so we don't like, kind of clog our mind with too much, let's do those four chord changes. We have a minor seven, one, two, ready, D minor seven, one, two, three, G seven, one, two, three, C major seven, one, two, freeze, try that again, one, two, ready, go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and we're stopping because then we go to C seven. For two. Now let's try it with just one down strum per chord. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. You can do it. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to F major seven, which is a leap down to the fifth fret. And we're there for four, four beats. One, two, three, four. Now the next one has an intimidating name, but it looks a lot like a D minor seventh. We have the D minor shape up here, and then the pinky, instead of being on the third fret, it's going to be on the second fret. So we really need to keep that hand really curved and then pivot to the top so that it fits. So let's do F major seven, B, B minor seven flat five, E seven, keep the hand up here, keep it, keep it, keep it, A minor seven to A seven. You can do it. Here we go from F major seven, one, two, four on each, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. That one was much more difficult. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, jump, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Okay, again. I recommend you use middle and ring so that the index finger can kind of be ready to move. Um, but find a position that's comfortable for you, okay? Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Hey, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Okay, so now um, let's take it from the C major 7 to C7 to F major 7. Let's just do those three chords. Let's just do those three chords. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, two on each. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So now we have to piece those parts together. That's why we kind of worked on that middle section with the C major seven to the C seven to the F major seven. Um, let's take it from the beginning. Always look a quarter ahead. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Freeze. That part was difficult. Let's keep moving. Let's keep going ahead. If you are a perfectionist, relax. Remember, we're doing this for fun. Let's move forward. I know my perfectionists out there don't want to move forward yet. Let's try. Let's start at the A minor seven. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, G seven, go. One, two, three, two beats. One, two, one, jump. Two, jump. Two, ready, go. Two, three, four. One, two, one. Okay, I know that was challenging, but you know what? You are crushing some chords that maybe you have never played before. So <laughs> give yourself a pat on the back. Let's try that again from the A minor seven. One, two, one, two, you got this, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, G seven, go. One, two, two beats each. One, two, one, jump. One, two, three, four. One, two, E7, go. One, two, three, two beats. One, two, one, two. And guess what? We are almost at the end. You've got this. Okay, D minor seven, let's go. Let's just keep pushing. One, two, ready, go. One, two, G7, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, A7. D minor seven. Two, three, G seven. Finish it. If you're ready for a strumming pattern, you can do the island strum: down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Or you can add a chuck: down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck. If you're not ready for that yet, then just do down strums. Let's add a little bit more motion to that with more down strums.
you made it here. I don't care if you stumbled or crawled your way here. If you are here, you challenge yourself on another level. Nice job. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to see you in tomorrow's video. Sayonara.